Welcome back, everyone, to our World Conquest. We are on day 624. So we only did 15 days in the last episode, where the episode before, I think, was only 12 days. But we finally got to 225. Nobody else can escape. The really bad part we discovered in the last episode, my little brother has no wife. I want to be able to take the, I want to take the uh, healer who is an amazing party leader and make a companion clan. But I can't do it because I need somebody to run the party. I could build somebody in there just to let her go, but I don't really have an option right now. I need to get him a wife. The problem is the Northern Empire and the Asari, you know, the Asari ones are way down here. The Northern Empire right now are trying to take this. So all the potential wives are sitting way over here. I have no options for wives. I can't get a wife when you're at war. There's nobody close by. And I have to defend this territory. These The 150, 81, uh, they're up to 134. But now none of them can escape. So that's good. Now what I think we should do is we should make a push. Yes, I want to get a wife. Once again, like my last World Conquest, I'm short of wife. But I don't want to sacrifice anything to do it. And that is I, exactly what I think is going to happen, is we're going to end up sacrificing. No, I'm not making peace. Only cost me 300 to override it. So I don't really worry about it that much. I'm not sure if he's... I think he wants to go after him, but he just can't catch him. He is calling an army. I'm um, wondering where he's going. I mean, is he actually going to go to Otengard? I mean, I would I would prefer to siege these two castles before Otengard. Because I want to get this side done. If I can take out this side, then you just have this sitting here. Because all this will be gone. But there is that army running around. And when they got an army... That's what I want to be concerned with. And he's only got one person. He's calling an army, but he's got one person. 500 defenders. But a hundred of them are party. If they had 400 defenders, it would be an easy siege. If I can get them out of the town... Unless I just take the castles. 235, that's an easy siege. And that would actually draw them in. He came out. Let's just do that. Oh, I got him trapped. He's trapped. Can I get him? No, he got away. All right, let's just go after the castle. Um, oh, it's a button. Why can I not hit it? I can't hit it. Come on, it won't let me hit it. I mean, look at it, it just comes up for a brief second. Why can't I hit it? Oh, it's look, it's way over there. I had, I had to target way over here to do it. I was like, why couldn't I hit it? And then we'll get the battering ram built. And let's see if we're going to go right away. We might be able to go right away. It's going to be Kulls who gets theirs built. If They're going to get hit theirs built first, which is not going to be a big issue. It just means I'm going to take a little bit more casualties. And this is just going to be a quick battle. At 235, it's going to be a quick one. So I'm just going to do this as a quick battle. All right, that went, that went okay. We, we lost quite a few. They did have their siege equipment up. But what I'm looking at is something that I didn't actually think about until just a moment ago why am i not looking at potential decreased i gotta get rid of Corinius. why am i not looking at the lords that i've captured i have captured lords why am i not seeing if there's anybody that i can recruit 
Um, da. That is kind of a dull moment. And all right, manage castle. Uh, Twenty eight days. I don't want to wait on that. Train militia. Done. Leave. So I should take a moment. Well, let's recruit all these. Upgrade. All right, I got to give some away, but I need to spend a, a few moments looking through the Lord and seeing exactly who I have and who I can get rid of. That's what I got to do. I was like, uh, wait a minute here. Um, I have all these Lords sitting on me. Can I recruit any of them? So... That is what I'm going to do, and especially if I have one that has a wife I could get. That would be pretty big right now. All right, little brother. We got to max out of scouting. All right, so give me just a moment. I'm going to look through, and I'm going to see if there's anybody that I can recruit with a little bit of money I have, and they can't have a peep. So Misu, or however you say her name, is going to be a no-go, because she probably owns Oltengard, um, or Balticon. Yeah, she owns Balticon. She's going to be impossible to get. There's no way that I can get her. Where is the price? Get her. I'm not sure whether, unless it's the clan. Yeah, there it is. She won't, see, she won't even, do, this is to do the charm check. This is how much is required to get her. But because she owns a fee, she will not even join. So give me just a moment. Let me look and see what I got going on here and see if there are any valid targets for me to try to recruit. Okay, so I went through everything. There's actually three we can get right now. More than I thought we were going to be able to get because they can't have any fees. One costs 700k. That so that one's kind of on the back burner right now. There are two of them that are going to cost me 300,000. But the good news about those clans is one's clan tier three, one's clan tier four. So they can both have two parties. The clan tier four, the bad part about them, I believe. No, the clan tier four. See, the clan tier four does have. A level 11 and a level 9 um, women in there. So I'm not exactly certain if I'm going to be able to get him. If not, I do have a backup. So we're going to try to get him. It's been a while. 65%. Got it. Now, just don't crit fail. All right. He's going to cost about 330000 so I got him. Ooh, four hundred thousand. That's more than I, that's more than what it said. All right. So now what I need to do is I need to gift him something. And uh, have we voted on this castle? I don't know if we because we haven't voted on the castle. He's getting the castle because then he's gonna get all this stuff and he's Kuzite. But now I need to figure out where he's at. Uh, he's probably in holding. Yeah, see, it's going to say last seen near. Because he's probably uh, going to be in holding. He's not in here. Yeah, he's not in here. So I need to find out where he's at. And get an offer for marriage. But I can't remember if we've already voted on the castle. I have a feeling we haven't voted on it. And I want to give him the castle. I don't know where you guys are going. I think we've done it. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. 
All right, can I get it or not? Do I have to give it to him? All right, I, I'll always take it yourself. You don't, you don't lose relation. Now I'll gift it to him, and that will max the relation. So it should be which castle? Hakun. All right, so we're going to beep this one. Gift to him. Full relation. Now I just need to figure out where he's at. There he is. There he is. Get back here. Which way are you going to go? North or south? North. Yes. I'm your... I have a proposal. Oh, they're in holding. I can't do it yet. Damn. Last seen near Huskville. Fugitive. She's been freed. But I'm wondering. She is age. Oh my gosh. She's age 44. She's age 25. I don't know why I can't get married. I can't set up a marriage right now. I'll have to end up waiting a moment to do it. I can't set up a marriage. I'll, I'll just have to wait. But I, at least I have the guys now. Um, I don't need to help them. Yeah, they're fine on their own. Let's just get moving. I, yeah, I don't know why I can't set that up. The only thing I can think of is that they're in holding. Although he was taken prisoner. That I should have thought about. And now he's going to run the other way. Boy, that was stupid. Oh, I could have had a prisoner. So we're going to go take this. And then hopefully one of them will come out of holding by then. I know I have had many questions regarding marriage lately. Like there is a problem or a bug in the code. But I can't confirm what's going on. It's something that I might have to investigate. But there definitely seems to be something going on in the code. So we'll get this built. And we're they're going to get their siege engine. And it's just going to be a quick battle. And obviously, I am not simming it. Since you lose so much. They'll get one catapult up, fire catapult, and now we're just going to go. So let's get this done and over with. And then, good. Hopefully the wife will be out of holding. You can see it's quite different than simming. Just doing the regular battle and let your people go. Much different than simming. There is another clan I could take if I want to. Oh, I got to get rid of this guy. I keep forgetting. I got to get rid of him. Bosios or whatever. Cornelius. I got to get rid of that clan. And. I got to get rid of him. Nobody in the dungeon. Manage the castle. Five days. Uh, yeah, we'll let that go for five days. Absolutely. Five days and I'll throw money in there. Two days to upgrade the walls. Yeah, we'll let that go. So I need to actually get rid of that guy. He is hurting me bad. That's him. So I only have... Oh, the other one got captured? Oh, the other guy never made it to me. I got to get rid of him. Have to do it. He's going to end up costing me. Now, we have this taken. They're sieging that, which I kind of figured might happen. One party's probably doing it. 
But I gotta, if I recruit somebody, they have, if you show mercy to a thief you have taken, what happens is, is that anybody that is negative mercy will hate you for it. Just like if you devastate anybody that is positive mercy, we'll hate it. So that's what you have to watch out for. And that's not the clan. It's the actual person that is the problem. So you actually have to watch out for that. Let's see what you got. We got beer. Grapes, olives, we can't get here. I can take your cheese. So grapes and olives are the biggest problem right now. That is what we have. Get rid of some of the. There. Now I got 500k. I could take another lord. If I wanted. Did they take it back or not? Or did my guys stop them? Come on. They stopped them. Now I guess I could go look for him again. A wrong or whatever his name is. There's Hypnos. Uh, Tipnos, does he actually have a wife for my little brother? I don't know without looking at his clan if he does. I await you. Hmm, level 16. Yikes. Not a great choice. It's a wife. But I don't want a high-level wife like that. Oh, first of all, I'll take your prisoner. Thank you. We, I got to figure out where Harong is now. There he is. And then I got to figure out where he's going to jump to from here. I want to talk to him again and see if I can get a wife. Nope. Damn. Why can't I not get a wife? It's why I really did that. The other person that I could take was going to be... Okay, you had this clan here that was... No, where is it? All right, he was 500,000 to 400,000. He had a level 12 wife, but there was actually another one, another one. Is it Arit? Where is it? Half. That's him. He's got a level 14 at 41 years of age. A level 9 at 22. That's who I wish I could get. So do I go ahead and recruit him? Negative 11 relation. I guess I could try. I'm probably going to fail, considering that it's negative 11. So my chances of getting him are not good at all. However, I might as well just try. It doesn't hurt to, to give it 17%. Yeah. It's just that relation is so low. I got to succeed. Oh, here we go. Last one. 65%. Critical fail. <laughs> I don't really want to go after that last one. It's 500k. He's only got five members. I don't even have enough to start the charm check. You need 546,000. I only have 500,000. I can't even start the charm check. Okay, well, we got that done. I think, oh, they're going after the castle. They're finally starting to push. So why don't we need to start our push now then? If they're starting their push, we should be starting ours. We could go take castle, castle, chalkin, 
And then all we have left is up here. So I'm going to actually go after Oltengard right now. Who owns Oltengard? What else does he own? Uh, he owns Usek Castle, which is... that. So if we took that from him, he would cost us not much. He does have Abby. Abby's level 22, though. That's why I don't like Abby. I would... If I could get set. Mm. So that might be the way to go. I could take these two and then try to recruit him. What's the relation, though? Uh... Log. What do you see the relation? Oh, it's right. In... That would be under the the encyclopedia extender. I'd have to look at the clan. I don't. He's a tier five clan. Zero. I don't know how else to increase relation. And then we are, uh, I might as well just give it to him because I've already got full relation with him. That's why you always take it yourself because then you can add relation, but he's, he's full relation. So I don't really care, but we got to take these two fees. Once we take these two, ah, he's going to go in there. I did not want him to go in there. Oh, uh, if I could be the one to capture, I can release and gain 10 relation. Wow, that would be perfect because that would be a much better chance of actually recruiting him. Wow, that would be so good. That's a tower. That's ramp. Whoa! All of a sudden, it's like bells start ringing. I actually need people. I can't pull any. I need to. I need to bring a couple people to my army. I got to find some negative mercy or positive mercy. Well, not negative mercy lords. If they have no mercy, then it doesn't matter. So I need to find a couple of them. And this is probably not. I mean, this is most likely going to be a quick battle. A 450 versus me. Uh, they're not going to do great. So it's probably going to be a quick battle. They don't have much left. We're going to be able to steamroll them. That's what I'm thinking. I don't need to do much. I will take all the troops that I can before battle, though. Because they're going to get an advantage. Look at that advantage. Look how crazy that is. Because all, you know, I own most of the troops. I got 400 troops. And mine are virtually max tier. All of them. I'd say at least 80% of my party is max tier. I'm going to take the 20 as soon as we go. And I bet you we're not even going to lose 100 people. They're going to build fast. Three, two, come on. There it is. All right. So now I'm going to recruit all my people. Ooh, I'm down to 89. All right. And now I think we can go. Yep, nobody levels. I think now we go. Take the town. 
I guarantee I'm only going to lose like about 100 people. I need that person. That is going to be, it's the most important thing about this siege. If I can get that person and take my relation from negative 5 to about positive 5 or positive 10, that is because I'm going to lose 5 relation by taking. So I'm going to lose five for taking each. I think each beep you take, you lose five with the clan. So it's going to put me right back to negative five. Where if I take both, I'm going to be negative 15 and have almost no shot at getting. I think this is a quick battle, though. Oh, that one is expected. I figured to lose about 100 troops. And I lost about 100 troops. Considering they didn't give me many troops to begin with, as... Normal with the game. I only had 294 on the battlefield. But it went good. And where are they at? There they are. Canaries. Which will dominate. Oh, I lost one. Ooh, and eight went down. All right, we'll take them. Uh, but you know what? <laughs> I should be taking prisoners. Because I need money. And there's going to be a ton of prisoners in here. And I didn't get her. Boy, that sucked. Because now... Where is it? I didn't lose relation with him? I don't... Negative five. I didn't lose relation with him. He's just got the one thief left. Alright, manage town. Oh, uh, let's see. Two granary and orchard. That's good. Three siege workshop. We don't actually need to do anything. We can just leave it alone. Ah, right, so keep dungeon. There she is. That sucks. I didn't get her. She's in somebody else's party. All right, so let's get rid of all these. There. Only 6,000. That really does suck, though. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we have to do besides sell. I do need to go through the gear, though. They got 70k. Okay. I got 562,000. Recruit troops. Can't recruit troops. I don't think there's anything left to do. Manage. Recruit. Uh, the garrison, maybe? Because they're going to put high-level troops in there. And I do want to give them some troops. And you can take them and the looter. That's 33 troops. The rest can go to my people. I need to get merciful lords heading my way. So, let's deal with some of this stuff. Uh, you will be... Oh, geez. Let's just go with the accuracy while mounted, even though she's not going to be a captain a horse archer captain all right that's good look at them look how much they're down to in true and you have a prisoner Thank you all right let's give you all right that puts me even Now, if we take this castle, then I can get him. Well, if I can get the charm check. Not getting her was a pretty much a disaster. That negative five is going to be like the other one, where it's going to be super tough to get. They only have 171 defenders, so this can be built easy. I have a feeling that my guys are going to take care of this. Oh, it's a 600-man army. Wow. 
I'm gonna take open guard. Cause that should be a decent town. Not great, but decent. Uh, it's only 1,300. 4,000 prosperity though. Okay. I need Merciful Lords. Tipnos is back up. And he's merciful. So let's get Tipnos heading back here. And then one more. Let's go by call. Um, no, let's go by men. He's negative mercy. You're not. So let's get him coming our way. There. Now we have merciful lords heading our way. I'd like for them to get here before I actually attack. But they're going to attack soon. Here they come. Don't. Ah, you idiot. They attack. I don't get battle orders. So this is going to be fun. Cavalry. And it sucks because... What are you doing? I don't care about them right now. Not even looking at them. I'm just looking at this. Ah! This hill's in the way. Can't set them up properly. There we go. Back. Let's do that. Infantry forward. Soldier move. Cavalry forward. Sending my cap to help. They got a ton of horse archers. my cow and they're already gonna run back uh, I think that's good I think we've taken out enough of them yeah they still got 48 horse archers that's fine They should come in here soon. They still aren't. Okay, now they're coming in. Followed the horse archers. I'm I'm really most concerned about his cap. 
That's always my my biggest fear. I think Cav, while they can't necessarily, I think, win you a battle, they could definitely make it so you can lose a battle. Because Cav still do have, without RBM, some hiccups to them. And that's why I try to prioritize the cavalry. Yeah, I got you. I, I think I did. So now we can go take, if we go take that, I gotta watch the people though. If there's any of the Afrits, I need to let them go to recruit them. Although there is that other clan I could recruit, but they cost a little bit more and they don't look like they have a good wife for my little brother. You guys aren't getting away. They're done. All right, we go take the last castle and then try to recruit that guy. Dang, I lost a hundred on this one too. Yikes. Okay, you, you're the over it. That is the other, no, that's not the other clan I can recruit. They own too much in the territory. And so I'll take you prisoner. At your mercy. That's one. Minus five. Goodbye. Positive five. Leader. All right, that was great. And I got troops I can give to my guys. A glaive. Uh, I don't know who's using a glaive right now. I'm actually not gonna worry about it, but I do need to give away some troops. I gave away like 20 troops. I'm starting to think I have too many horse now. All right, she's sat. Wait a minute. How many other people have someone? Nobody. All right. These guys are going to join me. All right, there's my army. We need to go take this. Hello. Uh, another quick battle. Yeah, this will be another really quick one. Yeah, another easy victory. Let's hope that there's another clan member in here. Nope, you are not. You own way too much. Oh, that's the main guy. Ah, that's all I got. Ah, that sucks. We're going to go take the castle. How much am I making a day? Even with all the tribute? Oh, I'm losing three grand a day. Oh, you know what I should be doing? I should be switching him out. Yeah, that's got 187 defenders. I got to switch up my guy. You need to come out of here. And you need to go into Oldenguard. There we go. All right. Uh, what is there to do? Check for 
prisoners. You have one. And what I'd like to do is take out the Kuzite. Peace out. And then I'm at peace with everybody. Then I can send all my guys out. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I forgot. Okay, two thoughts. First of all, I want to defeat the Kuzite and be at peace with everybody. I could send everybody out to get troops because, as you can see, they are way down on troops. And the, while they're doing that, I can go collect food for our final push. Second of all, I totally forgot about this. And I've had YouTube comments coming in. And I just cannot remember this. You cannot ars arrange a marriage if you are in an army. You have to break your army to do it. And I keep forgetting about that stupid mechanic. Oh, my word. I can't believe I keep forgetting that. <sighs> Frustrating when I forget. Eric. Eric was a recruit. No, it's the guy in my clan. In my kingdom. Is it him? It's him. Where is he at? Akeem Castle. Where? He's right here. And I don't know if I can pull him in. No, he's not available probably because he's playing later. I keep forgetting and I feel like a moron when I do this. Is he at or near? Well, hopefully he's here. He's not here. Near, but where? I have, I have high level scouting and I can't see him. I have no clue where he is. Damn. Oh, I made that mistake. It still says near. I just don't know where. I don't know where he's at. God, I'm wasting time doing this. This is frustrating. Where is he? I don't know where he's at. I have absolutely no idea where he is. The only thing I can think is he's over in here. Oh, it makes me angry that I messed this up. I messed this up. I guess we're going to go up to the castle. Was that him? I saw somebody. Maybe it's not. Where are you, dude? Because I just had somebody comment to me today in a video. Last seen near. Ah, where is he? I don't know where he's at. Damn.
Sturgeon. <sighs> Sturgeon's defensive. Well, they're not going to cause. Why am I? Why is that doing that? They're not going to cause. Well, they're going to cause a little bit of trouble. Now I'm actually making money. But it just makes me mad that I can't find him. I have no clue where he's at. And I think, sadly, are we at the end of the episode? I think we're at the end of the episode. And I, I can't see him. I, I don't know if he actually got captured. Hakun Castle. He's here. I really want to get the wife situation taken care of. I really do. As bad as everything is, he is not in there. He is around here. All right, so there's Siege and Oten Guard. He's by here, but I just don't know where. Damn. Yep, I don't know where he's at. That was a bad mistake. But I think we're out of time. I just have that feeling. So we got to find the wife, but we got to disband the army. And we're going to, we already see our guys are pushing there. I'm going to start pushing here. I'm going to take this out, try to recruit that clan. And then we're just going to push, push, push. The Sturgeons, that was a bad thing. Not as bad as it could have been. The Northern Empire would have been worse. But we'll live with that for now. Alrighty, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Take care. And thanks for watching.